So here we have a comparison between the size of the two Tascam units. One is the DP008, which is a small one here. And then we have the latest, which is the DP03, which does include a CD burner, as well as USB out. USB out. Um, the DP008 only has USB out. There is no CD burner. Um, this unit's a little more robust. You get your faders. And... Uh, you get um, the options, uh, uh, you get knobs for EQ, etc. It's a little more advanced and it's also a little bigger. This one basically is a souped up version of the DP008. Um, you still get your record buttons here just like you get them here. You just don't get the faders here. Instead you get knobs to save space and uh, your inputs are here and you have digital EQ so you'll have to go in and use the jog wheel in order to access it. Um, both do include stereo um, condenser microphones. Um, it's just that this one's extremely portable, uh, the DP08, and you have the only option to get the music out is through your analog, which both have here uh, your analog out, or um, your USB so that you can burn to CD and or even mix the. Um, wave tracks in a different uh, program. If you have Apple uh, or or PC, it'll work with both. Um, so these are great. This one's really portable because you can take it with you. You can record live shows with the condensers. Um, this does also have phantom power. However, I would highly recommend using the power supply. Uh, phantom power will just zap your batteries quickly. This unit comes with the power supply. Um, it does also again have the CD burner and the USB out. Um, both units have the limitation of only recording two tracks at once simultaneously. Uh, the bigger Tascam, the 2488, can record, I believe, eight at a time. Um, and there's some other brands like Zoom and such that will record more than two at a time. So just bear that in mind that these portable Tascams which are laid out much like the old Porta Studios except they both use flash cards and they can take up to 32 gigs um, they, uh, the hard drives there's none to replace so it won't fail and like some of the older machines uh, if your hard drive fails it can be a little difficult to repair this is an upgrade from the DP02 so street value uh, at Musician's Friend I think this one's going for 499 that's a little high uh, this one's going for 299 I bought these at bnhphoto.com. This one I got on sale for $2.99. Um, this one I got for $1.99. And both come with a 2 gigabyte card. However, I was able to get a 16 gigabyte card for $19.95. So each unit has a 16 gigabyte hard uh, card inside of it. Um, so we will have some future videos showing you how to export the tracks. Um, I'm also going, I have some songs that I recorded on this one. I'm going to see if I can get this card to play in this one. Um, there is another unit, the DP004, which is around 149 uh, at b &H Photo or 199 at Musician's Friend. Those cards you can actually record on, a, on the 4-track and then insert it into this 8-track and it will play them. I don't know if that's possible with this one, but we're going to check it out. So again, I just wanted to give you a comparison on the size of both units and what they're capable of. They do sound good. The stereo microphones on both are actually pretty good, especially if you place them in the right place. So in a pinch, if you're looking for a songwriting unit, this one is really good, very portable. This one gives you a little more bells and whistles. Um, and again, you can also connect the audio outs to some monitors when mixing down um, if you wanted to do a stereo mix before you go to your computer or you just use your computer to mix it down but um, this is great also either one is also great for recording band practices you can use the stereo mics or you can set up your own condensers um, just bear in mind only two tracks at a time that you can record but you can fill up all eight and then when you mix down you don't have to use any of the eight to your master tracks. Those are additional. So you get a true eight track recorder. So those of you who are looking for transition from the old tape decks, these are awesome units and I recommend them and I really like the portability of them. And again, B&H Photo has the best price on them. Uh, so thanks for watching.
Enjoy.